the provided cardinalities and we're going to fill in the Venn diagram um, using the information. So first we're told that the cardinality of A is 23, meaning that all of circle A is going to add up to a total of 23. Next we're told that all of circle B or cardinality of B is 15. So we do have an overlap here of A intersected with B. And we also were told that the cardinality of the union of A and B, so that means if we look at all elements in A and all elements in B and add them all up, we're going to get 30 elements. Well, right now, if I look at 23 and 15, that's 38, so that's too many. So what we want to do then is subtract 30 from that, which is what they're telling us that the union is supposed to be. And that gives us 8 left over. Well, that's going to go in the middle. That's our overlapping value there. Now we're going to do some backtracking. All of A is 23. So 23 take away 8 in the middle is 14. Or 15. And 15 is going to go in this region that's only in A. So that 15 and 8 together make 23 for the correct cardinality. Next, we know that the cardinality of B is 15. And we have 8 in the middle. So 15 take away 8 is 7. So then if you find the sum of 15 and 8 and 7, you will get 30. Finally, we're told that the cardinality of the complement of A is 11. Well, the complement of A is everything outside of circle A, and that includes this region here, which is in B, and then this region in the exterior. So the cardinality of that is 11, and that's really just two regions. So 11 take away 7 is 4, and 4 is going to be this region that's only outside of A and B. So now we've got all of the regions, cardinalities filled in.